The Light Sport and Ultra Light Flyer would like to thank BRS Parachutes for providing air transportation to and from Aero. We would also like to thank ICP North America for supplying our accommodations at the show and Renegade Light Sport aircraft for transportation and meals during the show. <laughs> show for light aircraft in Europe and we're looking at an aircraft we've seen in the United States called the Phoenix but we've seen it with a gasoline engine this doesn't have a gasoline engine on it. we're talking with Martin Stefanik and Martin is going to tell us a little bit about the electric Phoenix okay very good you are absolutely right this is not a gasoline or fuel engine this uh, Phoenix is equipped with uh, our electric motor one that you're creating? We created. Ah. Uh, at the time when we created, the plane was created for cafe race. Ah, yes, right. Unfortunately, we received the batteries too late, so at the end, Jim Lee was flying there with standard Phoenix with the Tex 91. But this plane was already existing, and uh, at that time, we had a problem to get good motor. And all the motors uh, what we could buy had a problem that they had no hole in the axle. Ah, need you need to be able to get through, yes, exactly. okay. So because we have very small propeller and we need to a little bit increase the efficiency, we decided to use adjustable propeller. Okay. Therefore, we had to create the motor and at the end we had to create the propeller as well. And here is your controller for exactly. the uh, propeller then? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, this thing. Yes, yes. you are absolutely right. Now, this is the controller. We are buying the controllers from the China. motor, The motor controller. The motor controller. Yes, uh -huh. Here is uh, there are two lithium polymer batteries. I see. This is I think this is so far the weak point of electric aircraft because lithium polymer batteries, you know the point issue yes, about right. lithium ion batteries. So we are not spending millions to test <laughs> their safety, and we try to discharge them as small as possible to to stay on the safe side. However, this plane now has flown for one hour with these batteries, okay. and we are still. So with this battery pack here, you're able to fly under one, electric power for one, one hour. hour. Yes, okay, and you that's need quite good. two this and a half hours. This is a large two-seat aircraft yes. here we're talking about, not a not a tiny little machine. Yes, so. right. And over there, you can see the charge. To, to recharge this battery, you need three of them, uh -huh. and it takes two and a half hours. Okay. So for two and a half hours of waiting, you have one hour. <laughs> yes, well, as you say, the weak point today, but maybe not in the future. Uh, I heard that there is development coming, so we want to be prepared. So we have the motor, we have the plane, and if we change the battery, this is 50 kilo battery, so we have the possibility, actually we could use another 50 kilos behind the seat, but as I said, the safety first, so I prepare to stay. All is yeah, nice to have all this weight <laughs> up in front of the occupants. Yes, so yes. this is 110 pounds of battery weight yes. here then. Yes. But during the next two weeks, we want to keep flying with this baby to be sure that all our calculations are right and that our expectations to increase and increase the, you know, the, the endurance is, is right. One of the ideas we have and we want to test, maybe interesting, is that uh, the adjustable propeller allows us to try to recharge with windmilling. Ah. Imagine that you are under cloud regenerative base, power. regenerated power. Yeah. Actually, we had this idea, and then I found out that in the United States, in the year 2006, such a professor had uh, has been working, theoretically, how much energy is in the thermal. And this is, was very interesting, so we found out that our idea may work, so we want to go below the cloud base, keep windmilling the prop, and try to the control. Try to charge the battery charge back the battery up. Back. Well, good luck with that. We'll follow these uh, exploits on the website. Give us the address of your website. Okay. It's www.phoenixair.charliezoo.cz. Excellent. I have information on the Phoenix aircraft on my website. I'll try and follow the electric Phoenix. And you can find that on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining us here at Aero. Pasa saludando al trébol, colgando del asiento. Arriba va Dino Bolívar, negativo. A caída de ala. Media vuelta. Salida es negativo, está colgando del cinturón de seguridad. Para caída balístico Dino. Para 
caído magnífico. Nadie se mueva del lugar, por favor. Nadie se mueva del lugar. Bajamos la música. Hemos tenido una emergencia en la aeronave. Todo el mundo queda en su lugar tranquilamente. Lo van a ir a atender. Miren qué bárbaro que estuvo lo del paracaídas balístico. Rápidamente, bomberos, por favor, atentos en caso de que haya algún incendio. Nadie ingresa al predio. Con mucha calma, todo el mundo se queda muy tranquilo en el lugar. Por favor, todo el mundo muy tranquilo en el lugar. Bomberos, ambulancias se van a ir arrimando con mucha calma. No debemos tener ningún otro accidente. No ha pasado absolutamente nada. Cecilia, que es la prima, y Luquita, que la está asistiendo. Todo el mundo muy tranquilo. Estamos con total seguridad. Dino está fuera de la aeronave. Un poco impotente se debe sentir seguramente. Thank you.